Okay, well, let's try. Is, it, is that dialogue too loud? Do you like that sort of nose harp vibe thing? That sort of down, down, down. I was kind of, I was kind of hoping for a little flurry at the end of. Whoa. Yeah, yeah. Hey, find, find the number there. I just want to know exactly where that goes up. I haven't. We're not. This one's not doing click. So. You write it. <coughs> excuse me, three oh nine kind of thing. That's. Right there. Three oh nine. Okay. Okay. That'll be right. Bit of verb on that. We'll be gone by then. Cool. All this needs a title for it. I left a message with Shannon last night. Sister Shannon has been. Sister Shannon's the name of that one. Sister Shannon. I feel great about it. It's sort of. You know what I love is the fact that we're using ninety percent anyway live instruments. It's, I've worked on a lot of TV shows and, and films before, and a wide variety of things. I love the challenge and the fact that it's never the same twice. It's always different, always interesting. And you know, some, it depends on the nature of the show. This show really lends itself, as I said to Randy, this is like, this is great. It's all string, it's a stringed instrument show. <laughs> we both play stringed instruments, as well as a few other things. We get to whack on the drums now and then, which is pretty fun. So Jay does all the, all the bass usually. I don't think I've played bass yet in this. We split the drum duties and piano duties. The drums. I do. You do most of the acoustic. acoustic guitar, I guess. I some electric. Like, some electric. You do some electric. You do, do the, the lap steel, too. Lap steel. Most and of the, the lead dobro. guitar. Some, oh, you got a couple leads. I do a couple of... <laughs> you're, you're more the Mick Taylor. I'm more the Keith Richards <laughs> with the there leads, you, you know. Yeah. So in some circles, <clears throat> would be considered a semi-famous bass. <laughs> it's been in a few videos from the Northern Pikes. It's a 1977 Fender Precision, and I bought it in 1988. Eight? No. I bought it in '87, actually, at HAL Music in Saskatoon. I discovered this because I used it in this my last solo record I did about three years ago, and uh, it's a six-string banjo. Lots of people use them, but uh, it's got such a primeval sound because you can play it like a guitar. Well, it's a guitar you know, player. Play. All sorts of things with it but it's like uh and it's fun to play rhythm on it too we've used it in our kind of our old timey cues you know yeah. yeah you know that kind of thing we're loving the show because i mean it's i don't know i'm just so into the you get so absorbed in the characters You feel like you know them, like, almost as good as you know anybody, because you've spent a lot of, we've spent a lot of hours together here, you know. Uh -huh. 